what is going on guys this is Joey Young coming at you another video today today I'm gonna give you guys another update on the reef I got a lot of things going on with this reef tank and the reef tank outside so uh, just last week the reef tank outside finally cycled so that means that I'm going to be able to transfer some of these fish uh, from out here into the rack outside and the only other fish that I'm gonna be moving is the two Clownfish that I've had for a very long time. That I've been trying to breed under the sump um, I think that they need a little bit bigger room and They finally do deserve a bigger place and a space to kind of roam and do whatever they want. So the two uh, Clownfish in here the lightning maroon clownfish and the gold nugget will probably stay in this tank in the main display I do have another uh, Clownfish that's trapped in this uh, breeder net for a while now I'm gonna move him down into the sump because they're not getting along. Uh, obviously the maroons, um, they like to fight each other a lot. And they're about the same size, so they kind of just are like competing to be who's gonna be female. But obviously I don't wanna risk that because I kinda of tried that with three and one of them you know, killed the other one. So I'm only down with two now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here uh, down into the sump. And while I'm at it, I'm going to probably remove some of the plants here and keep um, probably mainly the red plants because I'm going to try to do a rescape on the tank. Probably gonna move a lot of them into the rack and let that grow out. And as that grows, you know, and establish, I'll, you know, slowly phase it out on this tank because um, I'm still waiting for a couple of them to do well in the rack system. And then for the most part, you know, a lot of these has been sold to customers and whatnot. And you guys are buying a, a lot of these macroalgae, which is great because I need to get rid of a lot of them in here anyways. So yes, if you guys are still interested in macroalgae, check out the website, purelyaquatic.com. A bunch of them are still for sale. All right, as you guys already know, the tank outside um, is fully cycled. I had some clownfish added to that tank last week. And we'll go ahead and add in two more clownfish from this system, which are my original... Um, Snowflake clownfish. I'm gonna go ahead and add them into a separate tank here and um, we'll move them into that tank While I was adding these guys in I wanted to move one of the clay pots that they really enjoy kind of breeding in before I haven't seen them breed in a while So I went ahead and grabbed one of those guys and as I went to grab one of those guys I noticed that they had laid eggs in them already. I was like, oh crap. I already moved the parents and We have a bunch of like fries here. What am I gonna do? So I went ahead and just um kind of used the tank water here, picked them up and went ahead and transferred them directly into the rack. So I don't know if that's going to affect the fries completely. I hadn't had success on the fries in terms of um, having them fully um, went from swimmers or wiggler stage all the way up to full fry just because they um, require a kind of like live food um, initially. And uh, we'll see what happens with these guys. Um, I think the parameter shocked uh, that I just did to these guys may end up killing them but um, they are still in kind of like a larvae form or an egg form so hopefully these guys are pretty resistant and um, will withstand this and we'll see what happens in the next couple days here all right so let's go ahead and start moving uh, the lightning maroon clownfish from here down to the bottom as you can see the lightning maroon clownfish looks pretty happy obviously it's a new spot new environment so it's going to take um her i guess uh, a little while to figure out uh what she wants to do in the little area i may end up moving her to the rack system eventually and giving her one tank along with some other fish but we'll see what happens right now i need that little spot occupy um just to kind of like fertilize the little plants in there the macroalgae that i have down there um, so right now we're back on top i'm going to go ahead and condense uh, some of these plants here and remove one of the baskets. One of the baskets here was uh, the macroalgae that I was trying to grow out to kind of establish. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this. There's a, a ton of them as you can see here. This is the coin macroalgae which I have a lot of. Go ahead and put that out there for now. Clean this basket out and I'm going to go ahead and take this out. Alright guys, and here is the tank. It looks really bare on the left side. Um, I pulled a lot of the fern algae and went ahead and placed it outside. Um, 
the right side here still has a lot of the algae. I'm gonna keep it there until again, like the rack is established outside. This guy here is just kind of hanging uh, on the side uh, because as you can see on the top right here, it is my anemone. I'm trying to get that dude out. It's been like just attached and stuck on the corner there. So I'm trying to let it move by its own because uh, I tried a couple different methods and it's not budging and I don't want to rip it. So I'm gonna let him move on his own and eventually um, the anemone should crawl out and fall down here and hopefully establish itself across here somewhere. Um, and that would be really awesome. And as you can see, I do have a couple of the red macro algae here and there. I do still need to establish uh, a bunch of these again. My dragon's breath that I had in here, I think I had a clump left over somewhere. It looks like it disappeared, so I'm going to have to probably pull um, a few of those in the rack and put them back out here to reestablish these guys. And I'm going to be trying to grow mainly red plants in this tank, and then the green plants and whatnot will go on the outside. I may. Uh, consider using some of these coin uh, on the edges or something like that because they kind of like to kind of grab into rocks and stuff. They look pretty cool. Um, I might consider using those guys instead of the uh, ferns. And also in addition to this, I went ahead and just kind of removed the top so it's an open, I guess, open tank setup again. Um, I don't think any of these other fish I have currently in here are jumpers. Now these guys that I have in the tank so far, I don't think these guys are jumpers. I've had them for a while. They don't jump but that doesn't mean that they can or won't or will or whatever um, any fish you know it's prone to happen if you do an open top but uh, with the open top more light can penetrate here and um, it looks a lot better than just having some sort of cover to it so I'm going to rock it like this for a little bit and see what happens uh, the front glass needs to kind of be clean and whatnot again um, as you can see, I lost a lot of my um, coralline algae in the tank just because when this tank was fully covered with macroalgae, I think that was absorbing a lot of the nutrients that the coralline algae needs. And also, um, I haven't been really dosing calcium, so that why, that's why it's kind of like been degrading. Now that I have some frags and, and some corals, I'm going to have to re uh, start dosing those again. And hopefully, the coralline algae will kind of bounce back. Uh, as you can see, all the rocks are back to its like original color just white just because again it's been covered with this macroalgae all over the place and then it just absorbed all of the, the light there so it was not getting any light at all so I hope this guy moves from his spot and literally is just right there in that corner uh, yeah we'll see we'll probably see in a couple hours here he'll probably end up moving because he's not getting any light that he likes and uh, if he's smart enough he'll get out of there ASAP. Looks like the fish are uh, exploring right now. They're trying to figure out like what happened to all of their coverage and all their uh, plants here. Alright guys, and that is just phase one of the rescape of this tank. I am going to slowly move rocks, move stuff around, and uh, hopefully change this tank up and we'll see what happens in a couple weeks from now. I hope you guys enjoyed the update for this week. Um, and until next time guys, peace.